Hello guys, and thank you for listening and watching another episode of Live Free Podcast, where I talk about living a life of freedom, expansion, and rest in Christ Jesus. Listen, I wanted to get on here and do this video, and I feel like God has given me the green light to do so, to give my confirmation and kind of like my path that God has taken me down uh, with the crypto investments and how everything came about for me. Um, and I feel like this because it has encouraged me so much to watch other videos. I feel like sharing with you guys will also encourage you because you never know you could be going in the same direction or having the same thoughts or questions or whatever that I had. And so I decided to get on here and make a video regarding all of the cryptocurrency and the wealth transfer. Um, I felt impressed upon my spirit. I norm normally drop my videos on Tuesday, but I felt impressed to drop this video today as I feel like the wealth transfer is imminent. I feel like God has had me to hone in and highlight uh, the 22nd through the 24th. Um, yes, I said a date. <laughs> I, look, I'm not scared. Like The thing about it is we prophesy in part and we only know so much, but at the same time, we have to have the confidence of the spirit of the Lord that lives within us, okay? Sometimes we miss it, sometimes we don't, and it just all depends on your motive behind what you're saying and what you're doing. That's what God look at. God look at the the, the uh, heart, where man look at the outer, outer appearance. So today is just my list of things that God is having me to drop some words of knowledge. He's having me to drop some wisdom, and he's having me to drop some strategies in terms of the things that he has had me uh, look into or do throughout this entire process of the wealth transfer uh, based on the cryptocurrency and based on other investments that he has honed in on for me as well. So I want to start off by saying this is a confirmation and this is the way God has given it to me um, in terms of the cryptocurrency. Uh, and this may help some of you guys. So in terms of the Shiba coin, I'm going to start my journey started back in 2017. Um, and at that moment, and it was just a brief moment where God had me to open up a Coinbase account in 2017. And I bought a little bit of Bitcoin, Ethereum and Litecoin. Um, at that time, I had no knowledge of cryptocurrency, but I had a friend of mine who we just challenged each other to buy it right then, right? I didn't buy a lot. It wasn't nothing to make a lot of money. It was just something that I did just to see what it was going to do, okay? So I, that's when I opened up my Coinbase account, okay? Nothing happened for me, but I felt like if I had a really dove in and really um, sought God on it, I believe that it could have been something for me. So when people say what God has for me is for me, that is so true. But the flip side to that coin is you have to move in faith. This is why I give my testimonies and my examples of the things in the path that I have gone through, because this can help you as well. Um, some things I feel like, yes, what God has for us is for us, but sometimes you can miss God. When people say that, you know, that's just them trying to justify sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes trying to justify why things are not happening for them. But I'm here to tell you, you can miss God. You can miss an opportunity. That is possible. So what God has for you is for you if you pursue it and do your part. So you have to put legs with prayers, okay? You have to put action behind words and faith is a forward movement. Okay, so in saying that, uh, I invested in 2017 and nothing ever came out of it. Um, God showed me uh, Bitcoin billionaire videos the other day because I was thinking, whatever happened to the people that bought the Bitcoin? Well, God said, well, this is this is what happened. The, what, they, they got the money. Like I was trying to bring this to you back in 2017. So I already had my Coinbase account, right? So what God has shown me fast forward he has, uh, from the beginning of the year, a uh, God has begun to arrest me and begin to snatch me back in alignment with his word and his kingdom um, starting um, December 31st, is, to be exact. And that's when I started. Um, I had already started watching YouTube videos because I'm a professional decorator on the side. So I had to start watching YouTube videos, but I was watching like House and Home and different decorators on there. So he used that as an avenue or a gateway to open up my mind to the YouTube um, 
family per se, you know, the kingdom, I say it's part of it, I should say. So what ended up happening was, and I had to go back and look at my Robinhood account and look at my Coinbase account um, just to see exactly when I started, um, when God started speaking to me. So what ended up happening was um, I started, um, God started drawing me in and he started having me hone in on uh, day trading and cryptocurrency. So I went into looking at those type of videos, uh, people that taught about cryptocurrency and day trading and um, how to trade stocks and all that good stuff. And from that door opened up another door into me watching a video of, I can't, and I couldn't think of the guy's name because I definitely wanted to link him in the description as well. Um, but he, yes, it's, it's a kingdom a channel and it's a saved guy who's on YouTube and he started talking about XRP and it bear witness with me so strong. Um, I went out at, and I got the uh, Nano Ledger back in, uh, I believe it was the month of April. And I actually went to my, um, portfolio to see when I when when I started investing and, and and that was XRP. So I started with XRP back in April, April the 5th to be exact, I believe it was. It was April the 5th. It was in the month of April. Okay. So I started with XRP and from XRP I got impressed upon me to get Power Ledger and um what was the other one? A uh, Power Ledger and Polkadot. So I had XRP, Power Ledger and Polkadot had those three coins and I felt so strongly that God wanted me to put this on a secure wallet. So I ordered my secure wallet, which was the Nano, Nano Ledger S, but that only held three, three apps. So I got that, I ordered that from Best Buy and I went in the store to pick it up, okay? So went to Best Buy to pick it up, got my Nano Ledger and had my cryptocurrency on there, okay? So, and I felt really strong about XRP. I had no um, other information regarding that other than my spirit bear witness with XRP and I just moved on it and I did it. And now look what's happening now. So, did that. And then the second thing, um, um, phase that I went into with this is um, I started, um, on the side, I have another YouTube channel where I do, um, you know, simplified real estate. I'm just going to say a simplified real estate services where I was trying to actually get into um, starting um, uh, my business, uh, um, doing digital work and consultation online because God has pulled me out of the corporate America whole scene as of December 31st. I was in corporate America um, for 32 years. Um, I left the mortgage company and I still do real estate because um, that's what my business is, you know, about. It's about real estate, um, digital consulting and all that good, good stuff and still like helping buyers and sellers and all that good stuff. So still doing that. So my journey then flipped from me more so doing, he got, wanted me to start this YouTube channel, which was Live Free Podcast. Started that, but my more, my focus of God has really honed in on this channel, which is Seek Ye First, the Kingdom of God. So I knew um, I was supposed to be on YouTube. I was supposed to have been on YouTube years ago, but I just never did it. And it was not on the, from a kingdom, from a from a, from a ministry's perspective, it was actually just from a business perspective in terms of showing homes, um, when I redecorate or remodel homes and, you know, showing uh, my customers and clients and all that, but I just never did it, but I always like watching it. So flip side to that is fast forward. I'm trying to move fast through this guy, so I won't hold you up, but to move faster through this, he gave me the top six prophetic insights that he that he has shown me that I want to share with you guys, right? So after the polka dot, after the XRP, and after the uh, what was the other one? Polka dot XRP and the other. I can't think of the other one. So after those three that I put on the Nano S, I then uh, I was introduced to Mac Pray's uh, YouTube channel, and this is I believe his first video that I saw was uh, he saw Whitney Houston. And so I think that started my journey with that YouTuber. I started with him um, off and on with that. And then um, praying about it, just seeing if it was God, you know, and that's what I did, you know, and I'd seen that his spirit was, you know, 
spirit of God. So um, I don't take anything in. I just don't suck everything in just because I see something. I always take it back to God. And God always showed me. He either showed me in a dream like he did with Camille. He gave me a dream about Camille Hendricks. So I was okay because he knew I was like, what's going on? You know, I was a lot of controversy or whatever, whatever. So, you know, he laid me down, gave me a dream. And he showed me her spirit and he showed me her in another capacity. So I knew that she was of God. So he uh, introduced me to her. Then he and also introduced me to the Kingdom of God Matters, which was Millie. Um, and I actually had a consultation with her um, because I really bear witness with her teachings and with the, how God was moving through her. Awesome, awesome channel. They're all awesome channels. Um, so moving along, he's introducing me. Meanwhile, he's introducing me to all these people that's going to ultimately it's gonna all come together with this with these coins, right? The, but when I started out, it wasn't about the coins, it's just about their teachings. Um, and then he also introduced me to a few other people that I'm gonna mention in a second here. So the top six prophetic insights that the Lord has shown me. So my confirmation to invest in Sheba, how did this come about? This came about for me with Sheba was, <laughs> God deals with me so differently. Um, um, so he, this came about with, um, I couldn't even tell you. I'm going to tell you what happened to me one day. <laughs> I was laying in the bed, and when I woke up, um, he had already put the Sheba, when I was looking at the other coins, I would scroll past Sheb, and I was like, that name, it just it was just something about the name, right? So uh, August the 5th, to be exact, I had to look back at my, my information, August the 5th, uh, when I actually bought the Sheba coin. Um, I woke up out of my sleep early in the morning and I was just laying in bed thinking about it and he had it on my mind. I reached over, I got my phone, I opened up my Robin Hood app and I bought Sheba. That's exactly what I did. I didn't see no videos on it. I didn't see nobody talking about it. I didn't see any of that. How I came to buy Sheba Inu was the Lord just impressed upon me to pick up my phone at 7 30 in the morning i don't i didn't have a dream about it the night prior to it didn't have nothing going on with it and i bought it that's the way god deals with me god just sometimes he just tells me to do things and i do it and sometimes i don't even know it's god leading me but it's him and i still do it and I, then i find out later okay this was god you know and sometimes we don't always know if things are God because sometimes people like to, to say they know it's God, but sometimes they think it's their self and it's really God pushing or moving them. And this is going to help somebody. So I bought the ship and so not, didn't think nothing of it. Then I went back in the videos to see when Camille posted it. And then it was not even five days later. That's when Camille actually posted the first time, Camille Hendricks, about Shiva Inu. And I knew it was God. And then as she went on and I kept watching her video, she then posted about the Nano Ledger. Well, guess what? I already had the Nano Ledger. I bought that way back earlier this year. So I knew I was on the right track. So that was confirmation about the Nano Ledger. But because now I needed to buy SHIB and that Nano S only held three, I needed to then buy another one. So then I went out and bought, um, no, I'm sorry. I bought the, the Sheba on Robinhood, but I needed to put it on uh, the wallet, but I already had three apps on the first wallet that I had. So I had to order the other one from Best Buy and I picked it up in the store. The one that's uh, the Nano X that's uh, Bluetooth, has the Bluetooth capability. So then I went to Best Buy and got that. And then I moved my ship from Robinhood to the other nan Nano um, hardware um, wallet. So that's how that worked out. So then I went on to buy more SHIB after that because now watching the videos gave me encouragement. It gave me, you know, more, you know, faith to, to, to really expand my mind and my spirit. And I thank God for people that have laid down their lives for the sake of the gospel. I thank God for the obedience of the saints in the kingdom of God because we stand on so many shoulders. We cannot do this on our own. It takes the encouragement, exhortation, edification of a body to do this thing and to move in unison and to move in sync, you know, with the Holy Spirit. And I thank God for people that have, you know, sacrificed and, and, and been obedient to the Spirit of the Lord. And I pray for their ministries continuously. That's another thing that I do. And then God start, started introducing me to other people, right? He started introducing me to the Crypto Night 1906. 
Um, I got introduced to him. And then, um, then I went to the Joseph Summit in Orlando, Florida in, um, last month. And that was another confirmation with Apostle, Apostle Joshua Giles. So when I'm a part of his mental network. So when I heard Mac Praise mention that, See how God was all, and I'm helping somebody because this is how God connects the pieces. He connects the dots. He connects the dots. So when I heard Mac Praise speak about Apostle Giles, I had already knew um, about his ministry and I've already was a part of his ministry to some capacity. So I knew that that was in right and direct alignment with what God was doing and what God was saying and that he was actually speaking from the spirit of the Lord because God has already shown me, but now he's confirming and reaffirming through other believers. So he mentioned that. And, um, and I was like, wow, I just left the Joseph summit and uh, cryptocurrency was actually a part of one of the uh, uh, classes or the summits that we had that when we was there. And it's amazing because there was an open heaven and there was a release and a breakthrough at that conference that I have never experienced. I'm talking about, honey, I was running through there. Do you hear me? I was running and praising God. And it was a, an explosion of, uh, I knew it was all about the wealth transfer. That's what that conference was all about. We learned about real estate. We learned about cryptocurrency to, to a certain degree, not a lot of it. You know, it was just enough to introduce some people if they didn't know about it. But when I got there, I knew I was supposed to be there because I had already invested in Sheba before I got there, I had already invested in XRP before I got there. So see how this was just confirmation. And this is confirmation from me sitting in the secret place, in the quiet place, in the council of the Lord. And so when you sit in those places, a lot of times God will give you stuff way before is before everything starts to go, go, go. And I'm so grateful to God for that. And the reason why is because now I don't have to learn all this stuff from the beginning. Like if I had to just start getting into this now, it would have been overwhelming for me. So it's vitally important that you take time out and that you spend time with God because God will show you things. And sometimes when pe other people come along, it's just confirmation to let you know that you are on the right track. So I got introduced to um, um, that Camille Hendricks and I got introduced to Crypto Night. I love his channel. He is amazing. And I just be laughing because I feel like he has an anointing on his life to teach the younger generations. And I feel like there's an anointing there for that. And I can see that. And then he's he's really blessed me, although I'd be laughing because he was he gets them in line, you know, gets and then he but he teaches out of the goodness of his heart. And I can tell my spirit bears witness with the spirit of God in him. And I thank God for him. And um the other one was the watchman on the wall. Now, Watchman on the Wall, her name is Rachel Miranda Emerson. The channel is called Watchman on the Wall. But the the one that I looked at it actually correlated with what Millie, uh, Kingdom of God Matters, what she was teaching on the camels. And when she was talking about the provision and she was talking about the uh, the title of it was The Abundance of All Sorts, The Camels Are Here. Um, I then, God then confirmed and reaffirmed through the watchman on the wall. And I'm going to link all this stuff in the description box, guys, because I'm telling you that when she gave that revelation about the camels, God came behind that with two more people talking about the exact same thing, the video, and it talked about um, um, how God is releasing the camels with the wealth and, the, and all, all the um, money and the provision of the wealth transfer. Um, so she has been a very instrumental in, in my growth and she's been instrumental in me just hearing, hearing the voice of God and, and, and knowing that my spirit bears witness with her. And sometimes our, our words, you know, the things that I release on my channels, it correlates in the parallels of what she's teaching. And I just thank God for it because it just lets you know that you're not hearing outside of your own head, that it is the spirit of God and God is not the author of confusion. So everything lines up when it's, when God is in it and there's a peace about it when God is in it. So if you ever wondering if somebody is of a God, take it to him in prayer, take it to him. He will show you the person like me. He will lay me down, give me a dream. He will show me them in a vision or a dream. And he will also just bear, my spirit will bear witness with it, you know, because I know the word and because I sit in the counsel of the Lord. So I know when something is off and I know by the spirit of the Lord, I know that. So, and I thank God for it. 
The other person was Diana, the faith movement. I love her teaching. God has given her awesome revelation and God, how he breaks down the wealth transfer and how she breaks down all of the things that God has shown her about this journey of the coins, the Sheba Inu coins and all that. Her name is Diana faith movement that's the name of her channel and it is amazing the revelation and the wisdom that she brings to the body and i thank god for her channel as well and so see we stand on a lot of a uh, lot of shoulders and a lot of crypto and i want to say this just because it's not a uh, ministry channel doesn't mean you can't learn from it you can take a page out of anybody's book you chew the meat and you spit the bones there's so much information on cryptocurrency i've learned how to set up my uh, Terra uh, Station. I've learned how to do all that just by the help of YouTube. YouTube is a powerful, powerful tool. It's a powerful force. And just because someone is not saved doesn't mean you cannot learn how to um, uh, learn a skill set from that person. Okay? You have to you put that out of your mind and, and you have to, uh, you know, focus in on the purpose for which God shows you things. And, and the more you expand your mind and your spirit to see God in everything, the more that God will show you and teach you. And it won't be just a, a select few of people. You can learn from anybody. I say you can learn from a child. So... The six, the six things was my confirmation to invest. That was my Shiba in Inu confirmation. Uh, God just woke me up in the morning. I just bought Shiba Inu. No dream, no nothing, no coin, no dog, nothing. But I'm going to tell y'all something funny. How about I was just at the park with my daughter-in-law and my two grandkids. Yes, my daughter-in-law and two grandkids. I was just at the park with them and I was walking with them. And this lady he had two, I think she had two or three dogs. But why one dog looked like she a new dog? I didn't say nothing. I was just looking at the dog, but he had the curly tail and the, the, the ears. And I don't know if it was exactly a Shiba Inu dog, but the first thing that came to my mind was that looked like a Shiba Inu dog, but I didn't say nothing. So I thought that was funny. So the second thing is um, the point out of his spirit, you know, Amos 3 and 7 said, God, surely the sovereign Lord does nothing without revealing his secrets to his servants, the prophets. And we know that and that God will show us things prior to. And I'm saying that because God had already put me on this path from earlier this year. So things that I heard was just confirmation. OK, so God is pouring out his spirit and he's pouring out his spirit and not just in a select few on all flesh. You can see it. It's like a massive explosion on YouTube. And I'm going to tell you something. Just as it's a lot of people on YouTube that know about the wealth transfer and know about the Shiba Inu coins. But I'm going to tell you something. It's just that many more people that don't know. You would be surprised. Even when I went to the Joseph Summit, even when I went there, nobody talked about the Shiba coin. They list, she talked about coins, but Sheba and XRP was not one of them. And I'm going to tell you something. God knows exactly what he's doing. He knows who he wants, who hands he wants to put this into. And you think just because people say that they know what's going on. And I'm here to tell you, everybody still don't know what's going on. And even when I try to present this to people that I know, they don't want nothing to do with it. I'm, so I'm here to tell you, God is favoring you. God's favor is upon you. So don't take it lightly, but thank the Lord that he is opening our eyes and our ears and our heart to see because you got some in the body of Christ that won't even receive it. But the devil is a liar. Don't let that discourage you that the people in your family, I'm going to just say it, people in your family, your close friends, your relatives, and people that you would think will want this. But God says he's going to put the naysayers to shame and he is going to get the glory and they're going to come running to him. Some are, as a result of this or what the blessing that they're going to see on your life are going to come are going to come running to God. Because it's sad to say as humans, the only thing we know is pain and suffering. And that's the only thing that get people moving. And because of the materialistic ways and of the world that gets them the movement because you had the people that follow jesus just for the two fish and the five loaves so i'm here to tell you nevertheless however they come let them come however they just however god decide to move and do it let him do it 
Because don't get upset, don't get angry, don't get discouraged, don't get any of that. Just keep following the path, keep following God, listen to him, get in that quiet place because that's what he begins to open up the revelation. He begins to open up that edification and he get, begins to direct and give you strategies from the throne of God. And he begins to lay out the blueprints. That's number three. So let me just give you number three. The number three is the top cryptocurrencies that God has shown me that he has highlighted to me is XRP, Shiba Inu, XLM, Terra Luna Classic, Bit, and now the Bitcoin and Ethereum flash crash. And that's, I got that through the night, uh, Crypto Night 1906. So I'm going to say it again. XRP, Shiba, XLM, Terra Luna Classic, classic, not, not the other one, and the Bitcoin and Ethereum flash crash. And again, he told me to get Polkadot and Power Ledger way earlier this year. I didn't buy a lot of that, but he did tell me to get that. The exchanges, the banks, like they said, it's going to crash. So I'm telling you right now, God has been speaking that through, even through Millie. I seen one of her videos probably five or six months ago where she talked about moving your money. How God said, get your money out of certain banks. So I'm here to tell you guys, this is not financial advice. I am not a financial advisor or counselor, but I'm going by what the spirit of the Lord says. And my God says, listen to what he's saying through his servants, the prophets, and you will prosper. And, 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 and pay attention because my thing was, okay, Lord, if we take the money out the banks, where do we put our money? You probably, what he's highlighted to me, and this is not for you guys, if you want to, you know, take it back to him in prayer, you can take it back to him in prayer. But the crypto exchanges is where you're going to probably, I'm going to leave it in USDC. And then I'm going to take it off of there and put it onto my Nano Ledger X. So that's one of the strategies that he's given me that I wanted to share with you. Okay, the other thing, because I, it was kind of confusing, I'm like, okay, if they're going to crash, and then what do we do with the money, and how do we spend the money? Well, I'm here to tell you that Coinbase and the majority of all of these uh, exchanges have debit cards, so you will still be able to spend money. See how this works? You still, so God had impressed upon me to do, um, to get a Coinbase debit card. I wasn't going to get it, because I had already got the Robinhood debit card. Um, but I noticed on Robin Hood, they don't have a lot of features and it's hard for you to move your money on there. So I kind of just kind of buy it on there and sometimes move it, or I just get, buy it on Coinbase or KuCoin because I have a KuCoin exchange. So some of the exchanges that I'm using is Robin Hood, KuCoin, Crypto.com, and Coinbase. Those are the four that I'm using. Um, but some certain exchanges don't allow certain coins on there. So, um, yeah, so that's what I'm using. So that's what he impressed upon me to do. Um, and then the wealth benefits, he told me the wealth benefits of diversifying your portfolio. You want to make sure you diversify your portfolio, you know, and make sure you don't just have all your eggs in one basket. Um, cause there's a benefit to that because what I feel like, um, God is impressed upon me and what he's saying to me is, um, you want to diversify your portfolio because you're going to have to use when the uh, American dollar fail, you're going to have to use your cryptocurrency to make purchases. So you want to make sure not only are they safe, you know, on the hard wallet, uh, I mean on the cold wallet, but you want to make sure that you have enough to make purchases and buy things because that's the direction of where things are going. So it's not enough to just say, I'm going to have my sale limit orders, sale limit orders. Okay, you can have your sale limit orders, and that's going to put you in USDC. But what's going to happen when you, you know, the American dollar kind of deplete? And what's going to happen if they change the direction and you have to purchase things with digital currency? So you have to even look at things like that. So um, another thing he impressed upon me was... Um, uh, Blueprints, he's been giving me blueprints on what to do uh, with the wealth. He's starting to download that and he's starting to download how to steward the blessing and, um, and what to build for the kingdom of God. 
and how to invest in, which is why he had me do the other video about being foolproof, F-O-O-L, and the other video that's most important about the tithing and the wealth transfer. I just did a part two to that video because he even gave me confirmation on that video through two other YouTube videos, and that's very powerful and prophetic. You don't want to miss that. So if you haven't seen the wealth transfer part one and two, I, I implore you to go look at those videos. Okay, and also I'm going to leave the link in the description for all of the, the videos here that that has helped me, just at least five or six of them, you know, through the different people that I say um, God has shown me that their their doctrine is sound. You know, it's, it's, it's a difference in, in words because sometimes words will be spoken through people, but the spirit behind it is, is nasty, you know. So um, this is what God has shown me to be sound doctrine sound doctrine okay um now uh, another thing is um what i see happening as a result of the wealth transfer this is what god has shown me what i see happening i see people traveling and spreading the gospel um being blessed and spreading the gospel um stay close to god because he's going to tell you where to go what to go where to go when to go uh, what to say, who to speak to, and all that, and who to give to, who not to give to, and who just giving you direction and wisdom and downloading that. So you want to ask him for wisdom, and you want to continuously stay close to him in this time, especially with this type of thing happening. You want to stay close to him. You don't want to veer off into the wrong direction. Uh, you want to stay on that straight and narrow and walk on that street called straight. Um, another thing is... Um, I see um, helping those that are in need spiritually, financially. I see the body of Christ doing that. I also see us doing um, where we are geographically. You know, like I said, Elijah was told to go to that place called there. Wherever there is, that's where God wants you to build. The place called there is where God's supernatural provision is. Every place is not where God wants you to be. There's a geographical location and God is going to be moving people. People are going to be traveling. That's the part of the geographical move. People are going to be moving. People are going to be uh, moving houses, buying land and all that good jazz. Um, so the place called there is where you will find purpose, provision. That's where you're going to find the peace and the grace and the empowerment to do it. God is going to empower you with the grace. Wherever he guides you, he provides. And that's where the grace of God is going to rest upon uh, you in that place called there. So pay attention to the geographical location. Just as, that's just as important. That's just as important. I know God has been speaking to me about that as well. Um, so stay tuned. Um, also, um, developing a lifestyle of fasting and prayer and consecration. Like again, I say about that street called straight. Developing a lifestyle of prayer and fasting and stand on that street called straight. The only way you're going to be able to do that is by the grace of God, not by works, not by um, anything else, your own ability, you know, because I read something that said faith is a faith is a faith is simpler than what it seems. It is a choice rather than an ability. We think it's an ability to do, but it's really just a choice. Once you make up your mind to walk in faith, God will provide his grace to rest upon it. And that's going to give you the ability and the power to walk in it. So it's not about the ability to be in faith. It's about the choice. Just make the choice. That's all you have to do. God's responsibility to you is to give you the empowerment to do it. Okay, so the other thing that God has been showing me is um, seeing God in new and unusual ways as you walk in obedience and in the spirit. Non-traditional fellowship with him. I'm going to say that again. Seeing God in new and unusual ways as you walk in obedience and in the spirit, in non-traditional fellowship with him. When you flow with the Holy Ghost, you're going to be flowing in things that's going to be unusual and you're going to experience God in unusual ways. God is going to be, oh, he's already been doing it with me, but just flow with the spirit of the Lord. And I see property saints buying property. I see real estate, land, farms, gardens, and investments. So God is saying, 
when you feel people have, uh, sometimes you may feel, and I know I feel like this, that people are being left out. This is what God told me. I said, you know, I feel like it's some people that don't know about the wealth transfer. And I prayed about it and I asked God, um, cause I want so badly to say something. And he, don't you know, he gave me a word that said, close the door, shut the door behind you. And this is for me, not for, you know, it may not be for you and maybe you have experienced this, I don't know. But the reason I feel like he said that for me was because I have in the past tried to get people to invest in the XRP or I spoke about it to family members or I tried to talk about the food shortages and the famines and all this good jazz, tried to say, and people just kind of like silent, they didn't really have nothing to say. So I kind of picked up on the, you know, the spirit behind it or whatever, whatever. And, you know, it's kind of like, you know, people just want you to shut up or whatever. Um, and I'm just being honest. That's a, that's just how God gave it to me. And then it's about the, the different things that I have said prior to this happening. You know, I've been just talking and, you know, speaking and posting. And it's kind of like dead silence, like crickets, like no response at all. So if you're experiencing that, even with family members, even with friends and all that good jazz, stay encouraged. I don't care. Go follow Jesus no matter what, because this, this role we own is real narrow. And that lets me know that everybody ain't going to be on that road. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not talking about uh, salvation, so to speak. And part of it is and part of it isn't. But sometimes people are just not there. And a lot of times uh, I got this prophet to, prophesied to me years ago that I wanted, I always want to share what God gives me and I want to always tell people what's going on. But I got a prophetic word saying that you try to pull people with you and everywhere you go on, people just can't go. Because you have to have a mental and a spiritual capacity to be able to perceive what God is doing. And unless you can have that capacity to perceive it and to walk in it, you can't do it. And sometimes people's mind has not caught up or they're just not on that page. And that's okay. It doesn't make them a bad person. But at the same time, you can't pull people with you that are not willing to go or just don't believe it. The Bible says without faith, it's impossible to please God. And those that come must know he is God. And he is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. So don't be encouraged. Everybody is not going to come and they're not going to catch it. Maybe they'll catch the second wave or maybe they just won't catch it at all. But at the end of the day, you just continuously pray and ask God to give them a heart of flesh and to open up their minds and their hearts to receive him in the fullness of who he is. And all you can do is pray at that point. So he said, when you feel people are being left out, because that's what I feel, he said, just know all are called, but few are cho chosen. Meaning everybody gets to get that same call. Everybody get that same call. God is not a respecter of persons. He's not a respecter of persons. That means he doesn't show favoritism. So everybody gets the same call, but everybody don't answer the call. So just thank God every day that you answer the call and that you're on the right path and that you're on the path of breakthrough miracles and abundance and at breakneck speeds and favor like we have not seen, guys. That's all I have today. I believe that's all of the coins and that's all of the platforms that I use. I just wanted to share that with everyone. And I wanted to kind of tell you how my journey went, but that's it. That's all. I will see you guys in the next video. And I just believe wholeheartedly that the transfer is imminent. It is upon us. Take notice of the dates between September 22nd and through September 24th. To God be the glory. Let God arise and let every enemy be scattered. And pray over the crypto exchanges. Pray over everything that God has shown you. Don't just, just expect it to happen. Pray that no weapon that is formed against us shall prosper. And every time that rises up against us will be dismissed as a liar. And that God will lose confusion into the enemy's camp. That everything that he tries to steal, kill, and destroy will be brought to nothing. And we just put a decease and desist order over all the plans of the enemy. And we pray that the consuming fire of God will assassinate and annihilate and eradicate every spirit of witchcraft, every spirit of rebellion, and every spirit that would try to infiltrate the 
things that God has shown us in the comments on the YouTube channels. We just bind that in the name of Jesus. Go forth and the power of his might and be blessed. And I will see you in the next video. Next week about this time, it's going to be totally different. And Oh, and I got to give you second Kings. He gave me, he says for the people that don't believe he gave me second Kings where, um, I gotta, I gotta pull that up. So Elisha said, he replied, hear the word of the Lord. This is what the Lord says about this time tomorrow. A seed, a fine flour will sell for a shekel and two sheets of barley for a shekel at the gate of Samaria. The officer on whose arm the king was leaning said to the man of God, look, even if the Lord should open the floodgates of heaven, could this happen? You was, and, but Elijah said, you will see it with your own eyes, answered Elijah, but you will not eat any of it. So there it is. So God is saying for the naysayers and the gangsayers, look, you will see it, but you won't eat any of it because of your unbelief and because of your doubt. So that's what the word of the Lord is. Be blessed. And I will see you in the next video, guys. Bye-bye.